How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I used another stub trick or stub glitch whatever you want to call it so let's go ahead and get right into it. We also have a brand new card series to talk about as the big collection reward has been revealed. I thought this morning we might get a clue for the big collection reward but in fact they just went ahead and tweeted it out so we'll talk about that as well. But here we had a few future stars revealed yesterday in Reed Detmers and Matt Brash. So we get an opportunity to kind of get a glimpse as to what the pitcher's attributes might look like in this program. And both of these pitchers have a pretty good pitch repertoire. And I'm gonna get into explaining exactly how I was able to use this stub trick or stub glitch here in a minute. But first, we have to talk about this brand new Retro Finest Series 99 overall George Brett card. Now, I talked about George Brett in my prediction video, but I did not think we would get a Retro Finest Series card. So, brand new card art. There it is right there. 1980 version, third base series of George Brett. And this is a great selection, I think. We have a lot of lefties that have been recently released. Um, but before that, we had a lot of right-handed hitters that were predominantly the best hitters in the game. right? Jock Peterson, at one point, was the best left-handed bat against right-handed pitching. And there was also a 97 overall George Brett featured in the Kansas City Royals, uh, I guess Brett Saberhagen uh, program, the Nike City Connect jersey. Um, so they kind of boosted that George Brett. It's very similar to the one I just showed you. Uh, today we might get a very similar card uh, to this Lou Gehrig right here. This 95 overall Lou Gehrig. That might be a little bit too good for a free diamond, but we do have that Lou Gehrig program coming out. And now I'm going to explain this stub glitch. And in order for me to do that, I kind of have to go back in time to about last week or even a couple weeks ago. I was putting in these buy orders for Jazz Chisholm when he was a gold card for his quick sell value, right? So I was putting in these buy orders for 1,200 stubs. You can see it right there. And I think I put up about 25 of them right now. And then I put up about 25 of them the next day. So I split them up a little bit. I probably should have invested more stubs because I knew he was gonna get upgraded to a diamond. And the reason why I'm not buying the current price is because if he doesn't get upgraded to a diamond, then his price would drop down, obviously. If you put up orders at the quick sell value and then they get upgraded to that diamond tier, you're about to see what could potentially happen. Now, this is not guaranteed to happen, but I'm about to triple up on my stubs um, in about a week, a week's worth of time. We had the roster update and then a week of time went by and you'll see that these 1200 stub buy orders went through while I was at Dave & Buster's last night hanging out with my family. And I thought that was pretty awesome, right? I had the video kind of being made as I was having a good time hanging out with my family. So you can see that I put these orders up on May 25th at about 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I put up a lot of these orders uh, on my console so I could clip it and show you on the video, but you could also do this on the MLB The Show companion app. I talked about that in my other stub trick video where I unlocked Randy Johnson. Uh, but with that being said, right, I put up these orders at two different times. So I am in the queue at the buy order position for 1,200 stubs at different points in time, right? I have already bought some of these cards. Now you can see that I'm in the completed order page. Um, yesterday, last night, I was able to purchase these Jazz Chisholm cards for 1,200 stubs, but only half of them, right? The first half of buy orders that I put in. The, uh, the buy orders that I put in from May 26th have not gone through yet because I made a video talking about it. Other people kind of jumped in and put their orders up and now I have to wait a little bit longer, but that's okay. The reason why I wanted to show you this is because yes, I could put up all 25 of these cards for you know this price here, 4,382 or 4,381 and make you know a good profit off of each card. But there's no risk involved because I purchased them for the quick sell value of 1200 um, I guess people are selling these cards. That's the one thing I'm not really sure about. How does this actually work in terms of why would people sell the Jazz Chisholm card for 1200 stubs when he quick sells for 3750 
I just, I'm not sure. But now that he is a diamond, you're not able to put up those buy orders for 1,200 stubs. You have to do it right before they get upgraded. So that's where the stub trick, stub glitch comes into play. Now, before they adjusted the quick sell values, you could make 10 times the amount of stubs from a silver card to a gold card because silvers would, you know, quick sell for 100. You could put in, you know, a thousand buy orders at 100 stubs and make a million stubs if that card went up to a gold. And I've done that before. I've, this has been in the game for quite a while. You won't get banned for anything like this because it's not manipulating the game. The, the roster updates are in the game for a specific reason. And you can do things to kind of help yourself out in that way. Um, but we do have that big collection coming out. 99 Retro Series George Brett. And I'm extremely excited about it. I'm going to try and unlock that card right away. I'm currently missing 22 out of the 369 cards that are the Legends and Flashbacks. And two of those cards are the two event rewards that were just released the other day. Um, but for the remaining portion of the video, we're going to talk more about the future of the franchise or the future star cards that are released. I thought we might see some NL players released today. And maybe I just jumped the gun a little bit. They've been revealing some stuff at about 6 a.m. my time. And today they revealed it at 7 a.m. my time. So with that being said, uh, we might have a Lou Gehrig program right around that, you know, 12 p.m. Pacific time, 3 p.m. Pacific time, and more of these future stars revealed. I'm excited. I think uh, mostly about this Jackson Job card. I'm curious to see, will he have outlier? I know he throws like 99 miles per hour, so maybe not. And that's okay. I'm just kind of curious to see what these attributes on these future stars look like and which is the you know which is the player you want to get out of the non-sellable pack if it's similar to the face of the franchise cards i don't know um which cards will you want to try and get right away off of the market once people start to unlock these right we're trying to to strategize a little bit i'm always looking uh, to go into something with a plan and i do have a plan i have a plan for the big collection I have a plan to continue making stubs. I am in a pretty good position right now for the big collection. I've stocked up on a lot of cards, and I've been able to make some stubs along the way, uh, and so that's pretty good. I've been able to parallel up a few players to that fifth tier. I got Joe Maurer. I got Chase Sutley. I also got Randy Johnson, Shohei Otani up to that fifth tier. I was grinding against the computer, finishing off the Anthony Rizzo program, finishing off some of those individual programs for the Michael Brantley, that Brett Saberhagen, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but I'm excited for the content update tomorrow. 30 future star cards, as well as the Lou Gehrig program today, and that finest uh, series, George Brett. Until next time, peace out.